All right, so what's up guys? So this is part three to our video. In this project, what we're essentially creating is I'll be able to drag and drop a video or image and then I'll be able to schedule that for whenever I want. So let's say next week and it would automatically post it across all my connected social media platforms. There is a website called Hootsuite that allows you to do this, but you have to pay close to $95 per month and I'm not trying to do that. So I said I'll just code it myself. So yeah, let's hop into the video. Okay, so today's December 31st and we're gonna be doing some coding right before the new year. So today we'll be working on creating our social media platforms and connecting them back to our main user in our database. Creating new social media. Wow, this is like trial and error, bro. This is not good. <laughs> this ain't good. Create a serializer for this. Thank you. It will do it quickly for me. All right, so I want to show you guys real quickly how it works. So. Boom, we have our main user connected, our user ID, our name, uh, the platform, and then we have our access token. That's just one part of it done. Now let's see if we're able to connect another account. What will happen now when we go ahead and try to connect another account? So let's go ahead and sign in with our Google account. We get an error. Cannot resolve keyword user into field. Choices are access token ID main user. I know exactly why. Sign out, sign in with Facebook. Error. Why error? Now I'll refresh this, it should be there. And I refresh this, it should be there. Cool. Now let's go ahead and try signing in with Google. Okay. Let's refresh. User ID is there. And if we refresh this, our main user should still be 12. Our user ID should be this right here. Okay. And our platform should be Google and our access token should be different. Google, access token different. There we go. All right, so we just figured out how to connect our social media platforms together with our main user. Okay, so now I'm gonna visually show you guys in a diagram essentially how this works. So what it is is that we essentially, once the user is logged into Facebook, they'll then go ahead and want to connect all their accounts, right? They wanna connect all their accounts. So let's say they wanna connect their Google account now. We pass in the Facebook user ID and we look for it in our database and we find it, right? And then we append the connecting user ID account to our list. That means is that we go ahead, we click on Google, we log into Google, we then take that user ID and we slap it into this user's ID, okay? This list of user ID. And then we also go ahead and take the same ID, okay? And we create create a social media platform with it as well. And the way that we link it back to our main user is by using our foreign key right here. So essentially what we're saying is that we have a new user, right? And we're having a one-to-many relationship because it can have multiple social media platforms, okay? That's how we know that, hey, this social media platform refers back to Sanjay, okay? So that's essentially how it is. Uh, I hope that kind of clears it up. I'm not sure if that like really helped, but please let me know in the comments and I'll try to clarify even further further. Hey, and we're back. Today is Friday, January 5th. And um, yeah, I've been sick for a few days. So that's why I haven't been coding much or recording much. So today what we'll be doing is we're going to be creating our file file upload component where the user drag and drop their image or their video and it will then get uploaded to our Amazon S3 where it will be held. Store that ID that it gives us, Amazon gives us into our Postgres database so that when it comes time to scheduling it, we can grab that particular image and video, right? I will show you guys a quick visual um, really quickly just to get a better understanding and then we're gonna get into the code. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop a file into you know, our file component. It's then going to upload to Amazon S3 and it's gonna contain a file key. Now this file key is what's gonna be used 
in our AWS S3 to identify that particular file. It's going to be a unique file, right? So it's going to be stored in upload slash the user ID. So the user ID of the person and then, you know, the actual name of the file, right? So it gets uploaded to Amazon S3. And then afterwards, what we do is we also add that file key at, into our media table. So we add it in as our media ID and that's going to be the primary key. Okay. Then we're going to add the user, which will be our social media platform, which will also be a foreign key. Reason being is that I want to be able to access the particular, um, particular user ID as well as the main user. So why not just slap it in there? And lastly, a file URL. This is subject to change. I don't know if you actually need this yet. So but that's basically the gist of it. What we're going to be doing um, today, simply going to be uploading a file, adding it to our database and adding it to Amazon S3. console.log file upload YouTube's PNG still doesn't work uh stupid me stupid me again bro what the what nah next public is that why I think that's why guys next public I was on a bet that that's what that's what makes it work. Hey, you guys want to bet that that's what makes it work? Oh my god. Okay, to make sure that it actually does work, we're gonna go ahead and re rerun this again and actually take this out. We no longer need it. And then I'm gonna open up my upload here, clear this, let it reload. Now watch, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. God damn it! You got to be kidding me, bro? Why is how's this not working? We shall try now to see if it will work. There we go. Oh my God. I'm such an idiot. I made such a stupid mistake, but this is like part of coding. Like you see what I mean? Like if I'd simply like I already knew I need to have next public right in front of variable that I needed uh, in my ENV, right? Tell me how I already knew that. And yeah, I didn't decide to, hey, let me check this instead. Dumbo, bro. Oh my God. Okay. All right. This is a lesson. As you can clearly see, I had it probably the easiest error. I already knew I need to put next public in front of my environment, environmental variables, but it didn't click in my head. And I did not check. I did not decide to check. Hey, let me check to see if my environment variables that I'm using in my file are correct. Okay, so I just want to show you guys a quick demo of what we did in this video, essentially. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and upload your media. So I'm going to go ahead and choose kiosk.png. It's going ahead, going to go ahead and upload it to our Amazon S3. And then we get to see the image here. And this page will be where you edit your description, your captions, your tags, etc. Just stuff about um, your video or your image, right? That you want to post on social media. This will also be where you would be able to click on what social media accounts you want to post on. This will be the page here. But we still need to do some back end work. What we need to do next video is we need to create a, a post object for this as well, because right now this is just like the front end that we just kind of completed, but we need to create a post object for this. Um, and <laughs> that's practically it. I didn't really get too, too much done this video. I just want to be consistent and be able to post it out. So hopefully next video, I'll be able to pack more content to it, be able to show you guys more and um, yeah, peace.